Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're going to be working on a STEM challenge together, so I'm really excited to get started. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now the materials that you're going to need are right next to me here. Now you don't have to have all of them. I don't have all of the materials in front of me, but I do have a majority of them. And if you don't have one of the pieces, that's okay. You can still do this activity with just what you have at home. But one main thing that you're going to need is you're going to need an egg. Now with the egg, if you don't want a big mess, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it into a plastic bag and I'm going to seal the bag all the way. One other way of doing this is if you don't want a big mess, you could also hard boil the egg ahead of time so that way if the egg is to crack, you don't have to worry about cleaning up the big mess. It will just be the shell on the outside that is broken. Now with that said, what we're going to do is we're going to use some type of container to try to protect our egg so that way when we drop it from a large distance in the air, the egg isn't going to crack at all. Now for my container, I'm going to use this plastic cup. You don't want to use anything glass related, but you could use other things like a cardboard box or a plastic container. Any of those types of things will work. Some people have used a cardboard tube or like a paper towel roll tube. All of that stuff will work great, just the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some straws. I'm going to use some paper, some note cards. I found some balloons in my basement, some tape, some scissors, and I'm going to start creating my protective casing so that way my egg doesn't crack, hopefully, when I drop it. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna blow my balloon up just a little bit in hopes that it creates a little bit of a protective layer to where it's not going to bounce off of the cup as hard. So we'll see if that works. So what I'm doing here is I'm just putting some uh, straw that I've cut up kind of onto the top in hopes that it will stop the egg from cracking. I'm also going to crumple up some paper at the top in hopes that it creates one final barrier and then I'm going to tape it. Okay, so here is my container that I have. So in the middle is the egg and I tried to create layers barriers that would allow the egg to not get hit as hard, not have as much force going down, so that way there's a buffer and the egg hopefully won't crack. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try it, dropping it just from about my height, so about six feet. You think it went okay? You tell me. Do you think that went okay? For my second attempt here, I decided to put a balloon at the top instead in hopes that it will give more of a buffer that the paper did not get. So we're gonna see how attempt number two goes. Now it's also going to depend on exactly what surface you're dropping it onto. I'm dro dropping it onto a concrete surface, so it's going to do more damage rather than a grass surface. So that's something you can experiment with as well. Here we go. I'm gonna drop it from a little bit lower this time. Let's see how we do. Oh, that did not sound good. We actually did pretty well on that one. So this one only has a small crack on the bottom. So I would call that one an awesome success. Now for this last test, I thought to myself, they never said we couldn't put anything on the outside of our bin or cup or box, right? So I'm gonna try that. All right, are we ready? Three, two, one. Oh boy. Ooh, I feel like that did not go as planned. What do we think here? Do we think we'd made it? Yikes, we can see that this one was a total bust. If I was to do this again, I would have added a balloon onto the bottom because that's actually where it hit and I would have added more cushion to the bottom and the top. Okay, so I was successful in one out of the three attempts that I made today and what I would say to that is don't be afraid of failing. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. As an engineer, as a designer, that is something that is encouraged because that's the only way that you learn and that you get better at something is by making mistakes and pushing through and trying your best. So I hope you guys enjoy this experiment. Make sure you guys send me some videos and pictures of what you're creating. I would love to see what you design. Good luck.